हाय इंडिया वेलनेस के नुस्खे सीजन सीजन वन टू थ्री वी आर बैक वी आर बैक विद इंथ्रॉलिंग एपिसोड योर फीडबैक योर ओपिनियन योर शो लेट मी वेलकम डॉक्टर सुजीत पॉल नमस्ते नमस्ते इंडिया डॉक्टर सुजीत पॉल अ कॉर्पोरेट सेलिब्रिटी अ सेलिब्रिटी अ मैन अ मैन टू वॉच आउट फॉर अ मैन गिविंग यू हिज विजन हिज वैल्यूज हिज वैल्यू सिस्टम्स फॉर यू टूडे वी आर बैक we are back we are discussing about something which will intrigue you which will shock you which will surprise you but which will nonetheless excite you also dawai dawai medicines yeah so that famous bollywood lot of you watch bollywood hindi sardi khasi na malaria sardi khasi malaria what does it point to diseases diseases ka jor tod kahan pe hai dawai medicines all of you have medicines right sir you also have medicines absolutely Okay, so we have medicines, but uh, how do we have it? Tonics, tablets. But imagine for a second, medicine goes into your tongue, goes into your stomach, and does the job and goes out, even without you touching the tablet, touching the tonic. Wow, this is possible. Future of medicine. What do you reckon, sir? Can we imagine a future where, without consuming a medicine, medicine enters your system, takes care of the stuff, and gets you up and running in 2 minutes possible sir see arpan uh, how how india and the world is unfolding is that the future of genuine medicine this medicines would be in the form of pure air this medicines would be in the form of food this medicines would be in the form of intelligent chips and this chip that would be either in your brain or in various part of the body so for example if someone is unwell and they don't need to pop up a pill you may have see what see you have to understand what does a pill does it goes to your esophagus it disintegrates and then it disseminates into the blood and then it starts working but those days are not really far off when those either slow release or fast release medicines may not be required maybe in next 50 or 100 years if someone is unwell they can go to a pharmacy and they can just buy that medicine say a chip that chip can be just implanted in the body it diffuses in the blood and instantly they run so those are the days that you know will come for all of us and if it is today then it is food that is a medicine see i i always say to everyone that what is medicine and if you really understand medicine today's food is actually the medicine if you eat the right food that's medicine for you the pesticide But, laden food no not those something which are more natural in in its attribute but if you see the future of medicine it would be way different than what you see today and what we are consuming it will be in the form of robotic integrations in the body it will be in the form of a nano chip that will actually be planted in the body depending on in what it is so that is the future of medicine wow sir aka matrix aka drones delivering medicines actually happening sir yeah absolutely for a second i go back to to religion mythology my favorite bhagwan shri ganesh elephant headed god guys thought for you to keep in your mind a human body with a elephant head bhagwan ganesh from the time of shushrut charak shushrut sanhita charak sanhita dhanavantri our god of medicine has it been that innovation in medicine has always been there and we have a different perspective of looking at medicines as the reason we are unable to see is it all about the perspective it is more than perspective if you see uh, dhanantri the way it was projected and what we see today is that if someone is unwell they just raise their hand and and the person gets cured so what is this raising hand this raising hand is nothing but a transfusion of energy or vibration that actually cures the person now this powerful energy that we saw in decades ahead and in the screens would actually translate into as what i told into artificial intelligence of nano chip for example someone is having a cough uh, they can just go to a pharmacy and from the dispensing machine they will take a chip out and and that chip can be just planted like a bandaid 
what you see today and that diffuses in the blood and maybe you know the person gets cured if if someone have uh, more more complicated medicines maybe you know they have the similar stuff they go to their uh, dispensing vending machine so that is the day that is coming ahead with a lot of um, breakthroughs in blockchain and generative ai that we see today so people today may not understand what i'm saying but you know 100 years down the line this is what would happen and this is the the power of the breakthroughs in in ai and and huge medicine researchers that's that's going on so the human attribute of medicine research and the technology would actually merge together to build a techno medicine front of the world put together sir the more this excites me and hamare shrotao ko ye hum sab ko excite bhi karta hai but ye hame darata bhi hai yeah abhi aapne mention kiya chip yeah body mein ek chip yeah now i am looking at the scary part of it why are that chip can the body that is being healed can it be unhealed also so, or can people be controlled also see, yeah see what would happen eventually if, how i see uh, the evolution in the next 100 years is that say more and more this discoveries of of technology that would happen more and more emotion would decrease see typically in today's world if anyone consumes allopathic medicine there may be some minor side effects some may or the other but it may not decrease your emotional ability but more and more in the next 150 years that i see how the world would evolve is that these artificial chip that i'm talking about the chip that would cure any sorts of diseases that every time that you put a chip in the body that would eat up your emotions and thereby whatever emotions that we have today maybe 150 years 100 years down the line we will be more robots than actually human beings but human beings by nature are social and emotional yeah. creatures yeah. now as sir has rightly mentioned we are looking at a future of medicine which will be which will be regenerative which will be healing okay but at the same time it will also bring in some uh, robotic aspects yeah one trivia for our viewers sir this we are doing it starting this time onwards there's a free gift for anyone who gets this right can anyone in the comments below mention who is the greek god of medicine and who is the egyptian god of medicine the first comment who makes the who makes the right guess the first guy or the girl will get a special gift from us provided they give their name their age their location and their mobile number coming back to the future of medicine what role do you feel the people who are dispensing medicines in india the retailers have to play in this and how can they and corporate india come together to make this very accessible to people and also the law of legislation i know there are two questions in this the law of government and uh, the role of the corporates and the retailers pharma retailers what do you reckon sir currently india have got close to around 20 lakh mom and pop and other pharmacies put together a more or less a known published figure would be close to 9 and a half lakh pharmacies that india have so sorry to cut you we would be more interested in knowing the role of the organized pharma retailers because they are the ones who are creating impact beyond impact so we have got 20000 organized retail pharmacy numbers in india the prime role that the pharmacists need to play today is that they should be empathetic which i don't find they need to understand the consumer well now please understand that india is a good 80 85% into villages and good some 10 10 15% into the cities and towns now there are many many people in india who really cannot afford expensive branded medicines and there is where uh, the power of high quality generic medicine comes into an action so the pharmacists need to really be uh, educated themselves and should educate the end consumer that they need to absorb high quality generic medicines and that mindset shift they need to do because they need to educate the end consumers but this is what is happening today the evolution is happening very very fast and the innovations are happening very fast for example methylcobalamin deficiencies we find in many people across the country we find huge vitamin d deficiencies across the country etc uh, etc et so there is where innovations comes when when people don't need to take a um, shot of uh, methylcobalamin b12 by mean and or vitamin d3 or calcium you get in in form of strips or or tonics or similar wow. 
लेट दिस सिंक इन व्यूअर्स श्रोता है आपके बेनिफिट के लिए बोल रहा हूँ एक समय था जब आपको इंजेक्शन लेना पड़ता था पीपल जस्ट कैन वॉक इन टू द नियरेस्ट रिटेल फार्मेसी टेक अ स्ट्रिप पुर इट अंडर द टंग it plays pretty much the same role yeah, this so, already sounds like science fiction but it's happening around us the same way the drone delivery of medicines is happening see see we are we are evolving a lot see if you really see that uh, vitamin d3 or colicol calciferol uh, calcium you just take a small shot it's it's a small uh, bottle you just open it and take it done vitamin b12 1500 mcg just one strip done so i think there's huge innovations happening but i still feel that innovations are slow and innovations would be getting into compounded leaps and bounds more and more this this artificial ai that is actually coming and that's why you know we are really really seeing what and how the world is unfolding and that's that's happening very fast sir in this country of india hamare bharat desh mein jahan pe abhi bhi pata nahi kit kitna huge population उटलोटी to get elevated if you see the the life span have increased from what it was in 1940s we have increased the life span across the world including but in is, india but is it a healthy increase it is even in india the life span have increased in spite of all the pollutions happening so how did it happen due to all the innovations of of this medical fraternity that have happened it's like that as we enter the last section of this an uh, amazing discussion where we are uncovering aspects which we felt were future but are also currently happening right now as we speak don't you feel this future of medicine as you rightly mentioned yes uh, parallelly it needs to go on medicines innovations need to happen people need to go but you briefly mentioned on one thing the mindset the role of medicine or the future of medicine will be more wholesome when people have the right mindset towards everybody in this medical system other than doctor I somehow feel Indian mindset is such, or not just Indian, all these uh, subcontinent countries and Africa, where they feel doctor is the main, the hero, and everybody else, pharmacist, nurse, puja hila you. So, where, what do you reckon? ये mindset कैसे बदलेगा? Because सरकार ऐसा नहीं कि कोशिश नहीं कर रही है education books है, but nobody gives a damn. See, government of India have already rolled out uh, the, the MCI guidelines that they, the, the clinicians, the physicians have to write molecules. But we are far away from that, and still they, we still see they write brands. But all these things are one part of it, and and people's mindset are changing. They are shifting to generic medicines in spite of you know people writing doctors writing brands. But how I actually see is that physical doctors that you see today, that will actually decrease, and they will be substituted. with very knowledgeable artificial intelligent robot doctors so you do that day is not too far off you know when you go to a uh, a doctor's chamber and you find that he is not a human it's a robot because that robot exactly knows what medicines to give so the robot is so highly dogbot highly highly programmed and the robot knows all the answers so 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 why do you need physical physical doctors now now people may may think it weird but trust me that day is not very far off in the next i foresee in the next 50 to 100 years that is bound to come that that robotic surgeries are already there so the you will find that you know doctors are robots nurses are robots and and they are well programmed very knowledgeable robots who are a summation of the best of brains across the world and then all these problems would be eradicated of course there will be other problems that would come but that is the future of medicine wow sir sir isaac asimov would be so happy 
knowing that robots are now doctors will transform into dog bots pharmacists might transform into pharmacy bots you will not have pharmacy bots like what you will have like that yeah you will not have people to dispense you will just have stores where you walk into the store the store will identify that if you are having cold the artificial intelligence will actually drop down and identify and say that hey so and so we understand these are your symptoms and this should be the medication that should go through you're talking about personalized healthcare and these will all be automated so if my body has fever but x kind of fever which is because of my chromosomal profile so there will be a dedicated medicine for me yeah so so moment you enter the store the infrared would identify what's the problem Correct. and and it will give you a trigger that this is your problem these are the recommended medicines so are you sure this is not happening anywhere in the world this right now it's not happening yet okay. this is not happening yet and this is the future of medicine across the world wow wow what a engaging discussion guys mere ko to maza aa gaya ye sunke because aap sochiye hum kya kya nahi kar sakte hain we are now looking at a situation where hum andho ko vision de sakte hain okay absolutely and sorry beg your part i should not call them blind they are specially visioned we can give people who are uh, mute with the gift of voice we can possibly regrow broken limbs which reptiles could do till date like the crocodiles or the snakes who shed the skin by the way humans also do shed skin but again we yeah. can't that's a different debate yeah. for a yeah. different day yeah. okay amazing sir i had a great time i am sure my viewers also would have had a very not just a great time a very healthy and a very knowledgeable time so to all my viewers stay glued in to the channel of dawa india we will be back we will be back with content that will not just make you happy that will not just make you healthy but that will force you to think right sir absolutely sir it was such a privilege Thank to you, share sir. space with you Thank here you. and we really look forward to your insights your pearls of wisdom every time you bring I really love this sir namaskar Thanks. sir thank you bye bye india have a nice day bye